What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. Welcome to another Haikyuu reaction video for episode number two. If you're new to this channel and don't know much about it, I'm a volleyball coach and a volleyball player. And you can check out my hundreds of volleyball tutorials and jump training videos so you can play like Hinata and Kageyama. Thank you to all of you for politely correcting me on my pronunciation of the word haiku. I realized I was saying haiku like a Japanese poem and those two things are very different. Some of you asked why I included the background music in my last reaction video and I had to include that so the video wouldn't get flagged and blocked. I had to upload eight different versions before I finally found the right combination that would not get blocked, which was very time consuming. So hopefully I won't have to do the same for this video. Many of the new fans learned that I am also a high school art teacher, which is why I appreciate the animation and artwork so much. Shout out to Mariko the Cheetah for providing a lot of great background info about episode 1, like the meaning of Haikyuu and explaining the first and last name references. Thank you to Hiro Yasuu for translating the back of the jacket for me. Thank you to Gargoyle for suggesting that I pause the video so I can provide more commentary and analysis for you guys. Lastly, special thanks to Godvid for leaving such a considerate comment, encouraging me to take my time to post my next reaction video. Many times we forget that there's an actual human on the other side of your screen. And I have other important things going on in my life other than just making volleyball videos. So keep that in mind when you're messaging somebody on social media. I want to make sure I always recognize some of the fans and thank many of you for leaving great comments for me to read. Alright, let's see what happens in episode 2. Episode 2, Karasuno High School Volleyball Club. Oh, he must not be going to the same school. <laughs> Already having volleyball nightmares. Tobio. I have not heard of that Japanese name before. First pause. I think it's cool that Kageyama remembers Hinata's team, even though he beat them pretty badly. But I think that's a sign of a great competitor that they treat each team as a great opponent and they don't play down to their level, which means they put forth the same focus towards really tough opponents as well as really easy opponents. So don't base your effort, focus, or competitiveness based on who's on the other side of the court. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Such a funny fighting stance. Ah, trying to start a fight, huh? Hmm, I wonder why. Grades, maybe? So this must be a volleyball club and not necessarily the school team. Unless they use different terms in Japan and in America. よく来たな。結構大きいね。最初が感じ強さがさ。3年の意見ってやつをカット言ったってください。え、田中、その顔やめろ。そうは影山の方が少し高い。けど、なんかでかいな、高校生。ああ、tall 
Unless they call clubs high school teams as well. The number one shorty. Man, that's the first thing people say when they see me. They always say, ah, oh, you're a little short to play volleyball. That's right. Can't control your height, but you can control how high you jump. If you put the right effort into it. The ace position, I wonder what's that? Maybe the top position? That's words from a good leader. Keeping your teammates focused and keeping them down grounded. でも今までの全部無駄だったみたいに言うな。お前らさ、もう適当しじゃないって分かってる。バレーボールは繋いで何ぼ。勝負しろよ、俺と。おい、第三の話の途中だろうが。何の勝負だ。バレーの決まってん
you want a large surface area so you have easier to contact the ball. If you do a knife hand, it's really easy for it to hit the edges of your hand and it's going to be harder to control. So that's an interesting detail. I wonder if they're going to explain if he does that on purpose. So you see how his hand is kind of like a knife. And I want to pause it here right before he passes. So he has really good, well one, he shuffled there and that's the best way to move to the ball in serve receive to shuffle both feet. And his platform's similar to mine. I, I can't touch my elbows. A lot of the great receivers can touch the elbows. And then you want your thumbs parallel lined up together. It's hard for you to see on the camera, but I'll circle it here. And he's trying to get his body behind the ball and that's the best way to pass a ball is to get your body behind it if possible. You might not always be able to do that because some serves are too far away or too fast, but always get your body behind and keep the ball in front of you and at least you're gonna pass the ball forward and up, which is not a bad thing versus always trying to pass off center. You're gonna reach to the side and you're always gonna be at risk shanking the ball to the side. <laughs> that was so worth it to watch that scene again. ふふ、何も見なかったことにしてる。だがお前ら、お前がちゃんと取らないからだ、下手くそ。何が去年と違う。ふざけんな。期待して損したクソが。いちいち一言余計だな。なあ。少し聞いてくれ。あ、そうそ
So some very great volleyball team principles so far. Definitely more than just a random anime. This is identical to an actual volleyball team experience. There's a beautiful water bottle there again. <laughs> yeah, volleyball is a team sport. Can't just think about yourself. That's a mature player there. <laughs> the sweat and the vibrating head. That's right. It's not like basketball where you can just take it coast to coast and rebound and score, dribble down and score by yourself. It's the ultimate team sport. You're completely dependent on your teammates. I'm going to show you something that this is just... Uh, a lot of you left in the comments about how the uh, the creator of this actually played volleyball as a middle. But I don't, I don't know if the creator was also the animator. That's not always the case. But if it is, this is incredible detail here. One, the, the angle of the ready stance. So when you're in a ready position to pass, you want your feet shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Knee slightly forward so you get that quad act activation so you can push forward. And then shoulders on top or in front of your knees. Right? You don't want to be on your toes, you just want to be balanced. A lot of people make the mistake of having their shoulders behind their knees and then they end up being on their heels. So you want to balance middle of your foot, and shoulders on top of your knees or slightly in front of your knees depending on your body type. Now back to this guy. He's absorbing force of the the volleyball so either on attack or on a serve if there's a lot of pace on the ball which is a really interesting detail that someone would animate even for just this little snippet so let's watch it again so you see him kind of pull his platform back as he's passing to absorb some of the force of a faster ball yeah. let's do it again boom Alright, so I do have a comment on the block here. This is a really cool blocking tool you can buy on a lot of major websites. Check out allvolleyball.com and you can use my discount code to get 5% off of your blocking practice partner. Uh, but anyways, this is like a styrofoam thing with two sticks. Now this is not a good blocking position because well-formed blocks will should be moving forward over the net, which is what we call penetrating the net. So if you're ever blocking, when I pretend that these sticks are the arms, you never want to block straight up. You want to push over so that there's as little space between the net and your arms as possible so the ball doesn't dribble between your arms and the net. And more importantly, you'll be blocking the ball downward and back toward the other side. So this blocker should be holding it forward, not straight up. So I'm surprised that it even bounces back that way. Yeah, he looks like a monkey. <laughs> Spoken like a true king. Ah, he still doesn't get it. Uh, unless he's trying to prove that he can work with Hinata by playing doubles versus just trying to beat them and say I should be on the team because I beat you. Yeah, 
俺の足を引っ張らない努力をしろ。That's jacked up. そんなこと言われて、はい、努力しますなんて言うやついねえんだよ。Yeah. じゃあどうすんだ Do not talk down to your teammates. But I'm sure Kageyama will learn how to communicate better. Being in that volleyball zone where the world just kind of fades and the only, only thing matters is just you and the volleyball. I've been there before. <laughs> Do my best not to look at you so I don't know. Don't have to think about what a bastard you are. That's hilarious. I bet you that's the girlfriend of the. The captain. Kyoko san, Kyoko san, Interesting that they call him the word captain instead of a Japanese word for captain, they use the English word. <laughs> they did not think that far ahead. そいつらと三対三で試合やってもらおうか。毎年新入部員が入ってすぐ。雰囲気見るためにやってるゲームだ。でも、三対三ですか。俺たち側のもう一人は。田中、お前当日。ひなたたちの方に入ってくれ。え、俺ですか。嫌いじゃないって言ったろ。関わるのは面倒くさいです。<笑>そっか。問題児を牛耳れるのは。田中くらいだと思ったんだけどな。<laughs> that ear is so big, that's hilarious. Uh, it's been so long since I've watched anime, I forgot how funny it is. Mm. Oh, that's true. We got some of the top stars in the world that are. Make it all about themselves, not gonna name any names. Sometimes you have to have something taken away from you before you, you appreciate it. Bet you she's dating one of the players. Hey, he's hard on them because he sees their potential. That is true. <laughs> yeah, they are underappreciated. 
Not as underappreciated as middles. That's a nice animation. Mm -hmm. So he's identifying a couple key points for a setter's role on the team. Yes, you want to make sure you execute a very hittable ball, but you also have to... It's, it's a lot about feel as well as the actual technique. You have to know each of your hitter's rhythm because every hitter is built differently, right? They're all different heights. They have different musculature, the different speeds. So it's a lot to keep track of. And on top of that, as a setter, you have to try to put your hitters in the best situation possible. You can't just throw a set and expect them to just deal with it. So what he's referring to here is that a setter's job is to trick the other blocker into isolating his hitters. That means he's going to try to be deceptive enough to where he can get his hitters one-on-one, -on -one, where a hitter has to hit only against one block instead of two or three. <laughs> <laughs> practice outside. <laughs> Speaking of healthy competition, one of my, the other better players on my high school team was also my best friend in high school, but we also just ripped into each other in practice all the time. And we really pushed each other and yelled at each other a lot. <laughs> he is a cool guy. Hooking him up with some gym time. It's also probably because he doesn't want to lose. Hey, but if you want to win, you know, you're going to find any way possible. Oh, Kage, they were both in middle school. I didn't realize that. I thought Kageyama's older because he was taller. Mm -hmm. Attitude taught all it takes is for one person to drag the team down. So go back to that last image here. These are really great illustrations, by the way. Very fluid movements. So here, this, you see the setter tricking the other middle. So this middle is going up with his other middle. So now the right side hitter, there should be one here and then one off the screen. Mm -hmm. Small and fast, and an accurate setter that likes to set tempo. It's a good combination. Let's cut that knife hand again. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Sorry about this, I can't get rid of this without stopping the recording. So it might pop up a few more times. Okay, Tiny Giant must be a legend from older, older high school legend. Maybe a former graduate of Karsuno. That's the end of episode 2, and here are some of my immediate thoughts. I really like the, the team captain of Karsuno. He seems pretty level-headed, and the way they've animated his eyes, I know it seems like I might be looking too much into it, but I think this was intentional from the artist. He has very warm and welcoming eyes, almost like he's a nurturing figure, which he might be because he is the team captain, and he knows how to manage his players pretty well and how to push them in a way to get the most out of them without degrading them. And it's a luxury to actually have a good team captain. Unfortunately, some people use that position to put other people down to make themselves feel better about themselves. So I'm happy to hear that they have a good team captain. I'm curious why the coach isn't there and why the team captain seems to be functioning more as the coaching figure. I do like the growing dynamic between Hinata and Kageyama. I knew that they were going to have some more interaction later, but not to this extent where they're fighting and bickering and that just means you know they're going to grow to be close friends, which will be a fun process to watch. I can't wait to see them actually start practicing and building their chemistry just to see what Kageyama and Hinata look like on the court. It's just been a lot of backstory so far, which is pretty normal for the first few episodes. I tried to provide more technical analysis during this reaction video. If you guys like this style of commentary, I'll keep doing it for the future reaction videos. Thanks for watching this reaction video. I'll see you guys in the next one.